All right, human farming. Billy Beer Balls. Um, have you heard of the concept of human farming? It really makes a lot of sense. Instead of primitive forms of slavery, the population works and, produ and produces for the elite class. The quality of life is terrible because the ends to the means of working is really just to service a higher system you have no idea you're a part of. This video summarizes it really well. Uh, sleep well. So I actually went to go look at this thing, this human farming, and I understand what they're saying, but they, as always, you know, they don't seem to, well, I didn't watch the whole video, but it's like in the 13 minutes, are they really going to give me a solution? Um, and it also, first of all, the guy narrating it might be the most arrogant cunt I've ever heard in my life. I can't even, I'll click on it right now if you, if you want. You know, he's just like, you know, a lot of people might be confused. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, Jesus Christ, I got to get through the Dodge Durango commercial here. 14 seconds. You know, he's basically going like, you know, some people get, get confused and look at the government as it's this thing that's helping them out. Blah, 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 blah. Are you beginning to understand the cage that you were put in? Listen to this guy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me get back to the beginning here. Here we go. This is the story of your enslavement, how it came to be, and how you can finally be free. Like all animals, human beings want to dominate and exploit the resources around them. All right, so that's the tone this guy takes. Let's get a little bit further into this thing. Here we go. Occupation throughout history, and it is now reaching its destructive climax. Human society cannot be rationally understood until it is seen for what it is a series of farms where human farmers own human livestock. Some people get confused. Ah, oh, shit, I, I pulled it away there. Some people get confused. Here we go. Listen to this shit. Listen to this. Talking down to you. Some people get confused because governments provide health care and water and education and roads and thus imagine that there is some benevolence at work. Nothing could be further from the reality. All right, so then he breaks it down, and then in the end he goes, are you beginning to understand the cage that you were in? And he keeps going, some people get confused. It's like, dude, I'm not fucking confused. All right, you arrogant cunt. You sound like you're up your own ass. You sound like you're sitting on top of the fucking pyramid. All right? You know what this, this type of shit does that it doesn't take into consideration? It doesn't take into consideration mouth-breathing fucking morons. That whole philosophy that why does this guy have this much and this guy has this much, that it's always the rich guy is evil and manipulative and undeserving. Now, I know this is shocking to hear from me the way I go off on bankers, but I'm really going off on the system of banking when I'm doing that. But, like, you know, don't you guys have some fucking friends that, you know, they go to work, but they, they have no direction, they have no plan, and they just sit around bitch moaning, complaining about their fucking life, you know? And they feel like they did, they have like this sense of entitlement that they just fucking deserve shit because, well, why should this guy be rich and I shouldn't? It's cause, wait, maybe because he's smarter than you. Maybe he busted his fucking ass. Maybe you sit around smoking fucking weed or boozing it up all day. Like there's no personal responsibility. That's what I don't like about this thing. There's no, like, you know, it's just 100% these people who are running shit are 100% fucking evil and that all these people who are enslaved are all good people. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, there aren't absolutely brilliant fucking people, but because of their lot in life, they ended up in a sweatshop in El Salvador. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is everybody in that sweatshop, you know, is not a fucking, I, I don't know what, it's not, it's, you know, there's some mouth-breathing morons in there. This is, that's a bad example because I'm, I'm not condoning sweatshop labor either. But I'm just saying, go to a fucking sporting event like I did and just be stone sober. And just sit around and look at the fucking people. Okay? Look at this shit they're eating. 
Look at the shit they're drinking. Look at their behavior. Look how their clothes are hanging off their fat fucking asses. And I know the food supply is poisoned. And I know that there's a bunch of fucking lies and all that type of shit. But is there any effort on the part of that individual to try to squeegee in front of their fucking eyes? Or do they just accept it? And if you do just accept it, you know, then how do I feel bad for you? Okay? Now, I haven't said that, you know, racism, all that stuff about, you know, you're a third world country. I don't condone any of that shit. I don't condone sweatshop labor. I don't condone, I, you know, you should pay fucking people and they should, you know, they should, they should be able to live comfortably. All right? Obviously, I think that. I don't condone that Geno steak shit. Hey, this is America. Speak fucking English. I don't condone any of that type of shit. But I don't. I don't also go to that so liberal where it's just like, oh, look at that drug dealer. If he had the same opportunities I had, why he would be a doctor or a lawyer. It's like, well, why wouldn't he work at Enron or be a piece of shit banker? Why wouldn't he continue his scumbaggery? Why, when he becomes in my situation, does he then become an angel? I grew up in a suburb. There was cul-de-sacs in my neighborhood. I sucked at math. <laughs> I didn't become a doctor or a lawyer. I tried to. I was too fucking stupid. So I don't go into that pie in the sky, and I just can't get past this guy's fucking pregnant pauses. Some people are confused. It's like, dude, maybe you're fucking confused. Do you have a better idea? Do you have a better fucking system? I'm sure you do. And you, let me guess, in your fantasy that you don't have to fucking put to a test... So it's never, so it can't be criticized because it's not been implemented. Let me guess, it all works out. We're all fucking arm in arm and racism goes away and everybody has a nice pair of fucking loafers as they walk out to get their newspaper. That was delivered by a paper boy who now makes 80 grand a year, right? I don't fucking know. Whatever. Watch it now that you're, you're polluted with my fucking thought on it. Some people are confused. Confused. Some people look at the government and think that there's some sort of benevolence going on. Just the fact that he uses benevolence. You know, making me feel stupid. What does benevolent mean? Is that some sort of fucking uh, um, doing something? For, you know what? I should look it up. Let's look it up. B-E-N, benevolent. Oh, geez. It just disappeared after the V. It gave up on me. Like, well, I can't be trying to see it. He can't be trying to sol uh, spell that word. Um, okay. Benevolence. Let's go with the, the, the Webster's Dictionary. A disposition to do good, an act of kindness, a generous gift, a compulsory le levy by certain English kings with no authority than the claim of prerogative. Well, Jesus, it takes a left turn on definition number three, doesn't it? All right, so I think he's using it in the first or second. All right, disposition to do good. Um, I don't fucking, who the fuck knows, all right? Anyways, let, let's move on here before we try and solve the world's problems. You can go ahead and watch it if you want. All right, naked picture situation. A Sports Illustrated. I like that one. That wasn't really insulting. All right, French Revolution and bankers. Uh, hi there, Billy Bandwagon. I've been a fan of the Men Monday Morning Podcast for a while now, and you were on the Crab, you were on the Crab Feet Podcast. Oh yeah, with Jay Lawson on the All Things Comedy Network. Everybody. He said it reminded me of something. Pre-revolution France was almost identical to the way the U.S. is now. Oh, God, I hate when people keep predicting the demise of this country like they're giving us some sort of insight, like people in this country can't see it coming. All right? I'm not saying every mouth-breathing moron sees it coming. But, we, you know, anybody who has any sort of intelligence, we see it coming. Okay? All right there, Mr. Fucking Rubbing Your Goddamn Chin. Um, actually, he's probably an American, too. Um, all right, France in 1787 had grinding poverty, tax inequality, and was nearly bankrupt from the Seven Years' War. Ugh, and then he writes, familiar, question mark. Uh, I'm not even going to read this fucking thing. You're already so up your own ass. Wow, I never looked at it that way. Wait, does history repeat itself? Gee, you're really on to something here, sir. 
Good fucking Lord. You know what's funny about this type of shit is this probably isn't even this person's thought. They're probably just regurgitating something else that they've read from a website, which I do all the fucking time. I do the exact same thing you're doing here, sir, except I don't go familiar. Some, fe some people are confused. Why can't people just present a fucking an, an opinion without like patting themselves on the back about how fucking smart they are all the time? You know, you're a fucking moron just like me. Okay? I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over. Familiar? Does that ring a bell? Pot calling the kettle? Hoo hoo hoo. Ah, with your fucking smoking jacket, you cunt. Alright, here we go. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. He goes, Familiar? It should be. The modern US actually has worse wealth and tax inequality than 1787 France and even pre-fall of Rome. Dude, this is all old shit. I've already heard this theory a zillion times before you present it. And, you know, and I'm not going to fucking read this and get all fucking depressed because I understand this. This is why I got out of conspiracy theory and just got a dog and I'm sitting here watching the bread and circus of fucking sports like I never have before because there's no way out of this. Rather than present this shit to me, I want you to write back to me and give me your solution. You give me the fucking solution rather than pointing out the fucking obvious as you rub your goddamn chin. All right? Jesus fucking Christ. All right, sorry.